A big day today for students in Independence, Raymore Peculiar, Belton, and Harrisonville. It was the first day of in-person learning. KCTV 5's Leslie Aguilar is live in Independence. And Leslie, you spoke with middle schools about their first day back. So hearing from the mouths of babes, how did it go? Well, from the handful of students we spoke with, all of them said the exact same thing. They said it was weird, but it was good to be back. Uh, the pickup line after school was a lot shorter than usual. That's because the school is at less than half capacity. A lot of students opted to learn entirely online. And for those who decided to come to school in person, it's a hybrid model. So half the students will be in class this week. The next week, those students will be learning at home. That model is for all middle school and high school age students. I think the weirdest thing was just nobody was really talking because we're all six feet apart, you know, and like the masks and stuff, I guess. Everyone was very spread apart. Yeah. Pretty much sat by yourself. And how we had to eat lunch in like the classrooms. You don't want to be in your house all day because you want to be socializing and stuff like that. Now, the district tweeted out uh, pictures today from various schools so showing socially distanced desks and classrooms and children wearing masks. The district did have in-person summer school this summer that they say helped them plan for fall. Over the summer, they had 12 positive COVID cases, but say none of them were contracted or transmitted at school. Now, all the parents who spoke with an independence are happy that the district gave them the choice to opt online or in person. But there are some concerns about that hybrid model that we just told you about. And I'll have more about that coming up at six. Reporting live in Independence, Leslie Aguilar, KCTV 5 News.